Hey everyone, I've gotten a lot of requests um, from people wondering how I created a photo montage for our students. Uh, I work at a comprehensive high school and we wanted to send students a positive message during the COVID school shutdown. So I'm gonna walk you through this super simple process. Um, first of all, you're going to wanna go to a website called Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. Canva has a, a really robust free setup, um, free, um, suite of tools uh, in their free account. So go ahead and create yourself a free one. You can make all, all kinds of sorts of beautiful graphics. So I recommend all educators get a Canva account because you're going to use it a lot and be super impressed with it. Uh, what I did is uh, our school created a four by four image of teachers holding up each one word, um, and we put it together in a way that spelled out a positive message for students. Um, and so first, First of all, what I did is I actually created um, the message over in a Google Sheet. And uh, because I was gonna do four by four, I knew I needed 16 words. And uh, what I decided upon was this message here, Rocktown Spartans, we want you to know you are loved and we miss you very much. Um, and so uh, I lined those out in a Google Sheet and then assigned uh, each of our staff members one word. And then as they would get me their picture of them holding their word, I would go ahead and change the color so that I could keep track of who had turned in their words and who I still needed to connect with. So going back to Canva, super easy to do. What you're going to do is click on create a design. And Canva is awesome in that it already has pre-populated a bunch of templates that you may use in your work. So you can just type in Instagram. Uh, I like the Instagram post because it's a pretty universal um, size dimensions. Click on Instagram post and poof, gives you the ready-made sizes that you're going to need. And then over here is the uh, bank of tools that you're going to use in Canva. Um, pretty slick once you get into it. A, a lot of really great options in here. Today, what we're going to do is not use a template or any stock photos, but we're going to click on elements. And down here, go to something called grids. Click on see all. And the grids are super cool in that you can um, drag any picture, including their stock photos, into the grids and it'll snap them into size for you. So no cropping, no editing. It's pretty slick. Um, I'm looking for the 4x4 four four grid, which I know is all the way at the bottom, to give me a total of 16. Got a lot of staff members. I'm just going to drag and drop that here. Next, what I'm going to do is upload the photos that I received from staff. So I've come down here and see in this bottom of the toolbar, it says Uploads. I've already got one photo in there, but I'm going to show you how to upload one. Click on Upload an Image, and I'm going to choose this other one here. Let's go ahead and upload that word. And Canva takes a minute here. You can see the toolbar, the progress bar of it uploading, but I'll show you what happens when we just drag one over. So we can drag and drop. That's one option uh, if it's ready to go. Um, let's say you need to crop it because it's kind of hard to see the word C. Uh, what you can do is you can just click on the picture and then you can go in and do some cropping yourself, um, especially depending on if a staff member is standing too far away and you need that word to really pop. And so you can crop it and then put it in place and you're going to see that it shows up a little bit better. Or you can just click on it and it's just going to show up here and you drag and drop to whatever position you want. And that's about it. You're just going to go ahead and plug those in as you get them and then click on uh, the upper right hand link here says download. And uh, you can choose all kinds of options if you want to put this in a PDF, if you want a JPEG. I prefer PNG because it is a very high resolution image. Click download. And that's it. Um, you're going to take that file, share it with your staff, share it with your students, and get it on your social media accounts. Good luck. Thanks.